Can I guess the cost of these crazy Airbnbs? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Chain hotels just tend to get old. I mean, how many continental breakfasts can you have? And what if you want an intercontinental breakfast? That's mm. my favorite, that's what I want. But I think this is one of the reasons that people are turning away from the hotel and opening themselves up to the unique offerings of Airbnb. You get to stay in somebody's house and it could be a crazy house. We're gonna be talking about some of those and we're gonna be asking you if you can predict how much it costs to stay there for a night as we play. How much cheese do you need to stay in these Airbnbs? Link Neal, come on down. You're the <laughs> only contestant on world's craziest Airbnb. All right. Here's how this is gonna work. Uh, first of all, our answers will be revealed by the overall Stevie. We color coordinated between the board, her overalls, and my tie today. She's like a boxing kangaroo. She's got thinking the, about everything. She's got the, the pouch and everything. So I'm going to basically describe an Airbnb for you and you're going to guess what it costs to stay there for a night. You have two choices. If you get four out of these correct, you win either a dollar <laughs> or what's in the mystery box. Woo, got a mystery box over here. I love a dollar. Are you ready? Yeah, so all of these are real places, but the names have been changed to protect the... The names have not been changed. Ooh. Why would we do that? It makes no sense on any level. Nope, don't want to protect anybody. Want to anybody. stay in a beautiful colonial lighthouse in Sands Point, New York? There's yeah. just one problem. There's no running water or electricity. Also, it's filled with all the ghosts of prisoners that the British murdered there. How much does it cost for one haunted night at the Execution Rocks Lighthouse? Mm. Is it $42 or $300? A night? Man, that is a, that is a picturesque pile of rubble. Get the whole thing to yourself. That's creepy, man. No running water, no nothing? Well, there's water running all around it. Just salt water you can't drink. Oh my gosh. $42 a night. Yeah, it's the whole island? But that is the whole island? That's it. That's $42. The whole Wrong, Link, it is $300. 300 bucks. Well, that's not unreasonable. All the windows are boarded up. No, those are shutters, man. You can open them up if you want to. Oh, okay. That's... Let the spirits in. Mmm. Creepy. Okay. Not off to a good start, but... 300, $300. I don't know if we expected any different. The <laughs> smallest house in Berlin is only one square meter. And according to the designer, Van Bo Le Mansel, you can scoot the abode around Berlin depending on your strength. How much would a nightly scoot cost you? So this is just like a changing closet. Well, yeah. On wheels, it's on casters. Is it $1 or $99 to spend a night in the mobile Snoopy home? <laughs> hmm. A dollar seems kinda low. I mean, that's, that's, that's not gonna cover the, the trouble of the guy pushing it. Look at how much trouble he's having. Right. $99 a night. One dollar, Link. One dollar? <laughs> Seriously? Just one dollar. It's, um, it's just like they're giving it away. Now you can see in this other picture from the ad, Ellen DeGeneres is a big fan. Uh, <laughs> just kidding, that would be false advertising. Ellen would never be caught dead in a house she don't have enough room to dance inside of. That's Annie Lennox, man. Oh really? Yeah. I'm a fan of hers. So in other words, you can turn it on its side. Why, is she, it. why is she eating a Yankee candle? There is a spoon in there, isn't there? <laughs> It's weird. Hold on, they're Those not. Those aren't edible. They're not? Ellen. This wagon in Cornwall, England. Cool. Offers many amenities. It's like a circus wagon. But guests rave about showering in the nearby horse box and pooping in the compost toilet right next to it. How much do you need to shell out for a night in the wagon? Is it $356 or $95? Mm. You've and you get to place. shower with a horse? Well, you get to spend some time in the horse box shower. I'm gonna tell you what one reviewer said about that uh, after the break. <laughs> we'll see you right now. We don't have a break. This is a break. Um, hmm. Given the ornate nature of that wagon and the horse box, I'm going with the three, five, six. All right, Link, you are wrong again. <laughs> are you kidding me? I'm not letting you plan any of our trips. $95? Because you don't know what these things should cost. That is a deal. 
$95, but it's just a wagon. But one reviewer did say, the horse box shower was a liberating experience and it'll break down all preconceptions of what a shower should be. So I am thinking it might just be a big horse peeing on you. I don't know. Hey. If you're ever in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and you'd rather look at yourself a thousand times more than anything in Pittsburgh, you can stay in this mirror house, which includes a walk-in shower, Toto washlet bidet, woohoo! <laughs> original artworks and furnishing. How much does it cost per night? Is it $165 or $412? A night in the mirror house. Mirrors are expensive. Mm. The upkeep on a mirror is expensive when you, I mean, all the- you Gotta pay for them somehow, <laughs> yeah. Hmm? That's not a monkey, that's cleaning mirrors. Yeah, right. Um, you can train a monkey to do that though. And that's why I'm going for, this is a novelty place too, they can charge out the wazoo. It's overpriced, but $412. Keeping the streak alive, Link. <laughs> Keeping I'm trying. the streak alive. $165, I gotta tell you though, Pointing out the bidet in the ad is a great touch because we both know how we feel about that whole experience. Mm -hmm. We know how it feels. Yeah, now. <laughs> exactly how it feels. But pointing out the walk-in shower, I don't know about that. I don't know what kind of strategy that is because I've never gotten into a shower by doing anything other than walking. Hmm. <laughs> is there like a roll-in shower? Is there a slide-in shower? Think, I, well, I just step over showers. Oh, like where you have you're to step. still technically walking. That's a tub. The wheels on the school bus. Now, first of all, you can't win now, but you might be able to get all of them wrong if you want to try that. The wheels on the school bus may go round and round, but the cool bus is in one place. Salinas, California. That's not a cool bus. A cool bus? It is the cool bus. You can enjoy many It doesn't look cool. Here. It just like looks a, like a bus. Like a queen size bed, LED lighting, and optional 6.30 a.m. Kudalini yoga with gong meditation. <laughs> Kudalini with gong meditation. <laughs> How much to finally be the coolest person on the bus, Link? It, is it $45 or $180? It's funny because there's many a morning that I'll wake up and I'm like, I'd love some Kudalini and gong meditation. <laughs> <laughs> I'm probably saying that wrong. I think it's Kundalini. Kundalini yoga with gong meditation. And I don't think it's Kundalini yoga with gong comma, meditation, or if it's gong meditation. <laughs> all right, and I'm now going to get all of these wrong. Good. That's what I'm going for. $45 or $180? So I'm choosing $180 for the loss. All right, Link, you're right! Yes! <laughs> it's only $45! <laughs> and I do question if the kundalini yoga is really optional considering it involves a gong right outside of the school bus that you're sleeping in. True. Link, you got two more and you can get I can get them, them all wrong. wrong. Yeah. I can do this. Have the adventure of a lifetime at this house in San Francisco, California. It's called The Adventure House. And the description reads that it is, quote, perfect whether you liked food or sleep or just sitting and thinking best. The description also says, quote. Are you dead? You liked food? Liked, yeah, <laughs> I don't know. The description also says, quote, evil things did not come into that valley. That's it, no context whatsoever for that. How much for this Ikea couch and bad vibes, Link? That is the only picture associated with this. It looks like a- I love the angle. A kidnap victim like crying for help. Is it $1,000 or $188? It's like the picture they took before they took the picture they were trying to take. Right, yeah. It's a pre-picture. Like, no, it's a pre-picture. <laughs> but that's the one they used. Is it $1,000 or $188 to stay at the Adventure House? Man, is, I bet this is $1,000. I wanna get all of these wrong. And for some crazy reason, the person who took that photo also priced it at thousand dollars. So my answer is one hundred and eighty-eight dollars for the loss. Yes, Link. <laughs> How could that right. be a thousand dollars? Well, because this dude that Noah, is, crazy. the host is weird. Listen, Man, the Noah. host Noah describes himself as being engineer at. Period. <laughs> engineer at. He's an engineer apparently at giving guests the heebie-jeebies and overcharging because he's asking one thousand dollars to stay there. I won't be having an adventure of a lifetime. Link, you got one more question to get wrong. Yes, I can the do this. The fun's not optional, but the clothing is at Sir Brock, South African, Bear Necessities Nudist Farm. Whoa! <laughs> where they make their own cheese. No, <laughs> those aren't bears. What does it cost to be naked in Sir Brakey? Is it $33 or $125? Now again, the less clothes you wear, I think the more you pay. Mm -hmm. Keep in mind also, these naked people make cheese. I don't wanna eat that cheese, but they're gonna make it. Probably, I don't know if cheese making is part of the, part of the package. I'd like the cheese making pack package, please. I'm going with, 
I want to get this wrong. $125 a night. Link, you're yes! wrong! So and wrong! that means you're right! You lost completely today! You missed every one! Congratulations! I'm gonna give you your choice of the dollar yes. or the mystery I'll box. I'll take the mystery box, Mr. Oh, Rat. So excited you took it. Check that out. Woo! Yeah. It's real B and B, beef oh. and broccoli. <laughs> Gross. That's in the air. Gross. Airbnb. There you go, right there. Should be your slogan or your mascot. Talk to us. Congratulations, Link. Congratulations to you. And thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. You know what time it is. Hi, I'm Elizabeth, and I'm working at Care Baboon Sanctuary in South Africa. And it's time to spin the Wheel of Mythicality. We're launching the Mythical Monthly Newsletter, and you can still get the first edition, which comes out tomorrow. If you sign up today, today. go over to retlink.com slash mythicalmonthly. Also, the link's in the description. And sign up. We can stay in touch with you. Click through to Good Mythical Tomorrow. We're going to have an air guitar battle between the two of us. Lonely hashtag. This is when we find a hashtag that is being used very, very seldomly on so Instagram. Lonely. And then ask you to add to that. And the hashtag today is hashtag Gummy Bear Grill. Gummy Bear Grill. Oh, it's, man, there's a sleeping dog with gummy bears in his mouth. I'm not condoning that. Uh, get creative. Click on the left to watch our show after the show, Good Mythical More. Click on the right to watch another episode of Good Mythical Morning. And click the circular channel icon to subscribe. Thanks for being your mythical best.